Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program. With Gary Papa, meteorologist Cecily Tynan, and Jim Gardner. A long-running debate has become the focus of renewed attention lately. It centers around how best to treat the symptoms of menopause. And Lisa Thomas-Laurie is here with an Action News special report, Lisa. That's right, Jim. It's a controversy that has been around for years, but it has turned into a raging debate because of the outspoken stance of actress-turned-author Suzanne Somers. The question of taking hormones for the symptoms of menopause. Oh. I was flashing constantly. Menopause hit Joan Jenkins hard. She tried to get through it without any treatments, but her trouble stretched for years. I was at war with my body, and I had, I had no way of controlling it. Desperate, Joan turned to standard hormone replacement medications, and she got relief. But in 2002, when the Women's Health Initiative study linked long-term use of the drugs to higher rates of heart disease, stroke, and breast cancer, Joan was scared and wanted to stop taking them. Then she saw actress Suzanne Summers on a talk show. Summers credits an alternative treatment called bioidentical hormones for controlling her menopausal symptoms and keeping her youthful. Look at your blood work done today. Bioidentical hormones are not new. Dr. Allen Magaziner has prescribed them for more than 20 years, but has seen a sharp rise in interest as baby boomer women age. He says they are bioidentical, meaning identical to the hormones made by a woman's ovaries. Therefore, they are more natural than hormone replacements made by the major drug companies. We can give specific amounts of estrogen, of progesterone, perhaps testosterone, to each individual depending on their needs. Because the hormones come from plant sources, such as yams or soybeans, Dr. Magaziner says they won't raise the risk of heart disease or breast cancer, like manufactured hormones. I've had many women on them now for close to 20 years. Libby Lucas yes. swears by the capsules and creams she uses. I just feel terrific. I have more energy. I sleep, you know, like I, I should. But other doctors urge caution. Whether from a factory assembly line or a pharmacy, they say when it comes to estrogen, there's little difference. The molecule's the molecule. Dr. Beverly Vaughn thinks the products promoted as natural carry too much uncertainty. One issue is the lack of scientific testing. We don't know if there is any risk of heart disease or breast cancer. We don't know if they afford the same protection for bone loss that um, we have found in the standard pharmaceuticals. Another issue is quality control. Bioidentical drugs are not regulated or tested by the Food and Drug Administration. They can also be different from batch to batch. One third of the bioidenticals checked by the FDA failed quality control tests. But Joan Jenkins, who soon turned 63, says they have turned back the clock for her. I feel like my old self again, back when I was in my early 30s. I have more energy, I have more stamina. I have more patience. Well, although some of the traditional medications are made from animal hormones, many are now made from plants, like the ones Suzanne Summers advocates. It's important for women to ask their doctors about the source of the estrogen they are being prescribed. Some in the medical field say that Summers is irresponsible for advocating so-called bioidentical products, but doctors on both sides of this issue say she has spurred more discussion about hormone replacement and that is good. We'll have more information on the debate, plus resources for women on our website at 6abc.com. And the best thing that a woman can do is to be well informed, talk to her doctor, and to make her own choice. It is painfully confusing for patients when doctors disagree with each other. Exactly. What do you do? What kind of decision does a patient make? It's difficult and there's no ready answer for it. That's right. And the regulation, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, state boards, the local state boards mm -hmm. are not regulating it the way it should. There are, it, the laws vary from state to state, so a patient has to make their decision for themselves. As best they can. As best they can. But you said it, be informed, best choice you can make. Right? That's right, Jim. Thanks, Lisa. Mm -hmm.